What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do another cigar review for something that's been sitting in my humidor for over a year now. And that is this. Very interesting cigar with the metal band. It's a Macanudo Vintage Maduro. And this one's the 97 Vintage. I believe there's a, a bunch of different of these uh, variants from different years and stuff. So this uh, wrapper leaf was cultivated in 1997. Ah, it smells great. It smells really good. It smells kind of uh, like herbaceous. Yeah, it just smells kind of herby and woody. But uh, yeah, the big, uh, the big deal about this one is this right here. This is the metal band, which I'm going to slide off carefully. And uh, that is solid metal. <laughs> so it's a very cool collectible. This cigar sells anywhere from like $10 to $12, depending on where you get it. You might even get it a little bit cheaper. Like I said, it just depends. I got this from a uh, local um, B&M, brick and mortar, which I like to support. I don't, I don't buy any cigars online. If I'm actually buying cigars, I'm not doing any kind of trades. I'm buying from uh, a local uh, source. And this particular guy is a little bit pricey, but like I said, I don't mind. I think I paid $12 or $13 for this, but I expect to pay about $10. Bucks. But yeah, so I'm going to take the band off right, right out of the gate here, just to keep it aside because I don't want to tear the wrapper. But yeah, it's a nice, thick, heavy metal band. It's cool. You can put other cigars in here. You can display this somewhere if you wanted to. Pretty interesting. But yeah, it just says Macanudo Vintage Maduro on it. And of course, our foot band, which I'm going to take off right now, says vintage 1997 so oh, man yeah it smells herby herby okay got my cutter here let's get a nice cut on this hmm man that's a really unique flavor Interesting. Oh man, just pulled off one of the caps. And hopefully that does not do any damage. I'll have to keep an eye on that, make sure it doesn't unravel on me. Yeah, should be alright. Anyway, okay, so let's uh, get this lit up using my table lighter here. Well, I'll use it up in the air so you guys can see the lighting of this. And in a second here, I'm going to read all about this cigar. Because I want to know, I don't know offhand what uh, tobaccos are used. So you read the little blurb on a cigar dealer site. What might they have to say about this uh, cigar? All right, hold it up. Actually, let's pop this back on for a second, see what it'd be like to smoke it with the band. Different. Feels weird. I'm not used to holding metal when I'm smoking a cigar. So I'm going to take it back off. <laughs> but you can certainly smoke it with it on there if you'd like. Hmm. Wow, alright. So, uh, initial impressions. It's a little bit on the sweet side. It does have kind of an... Uh, I don't even know if it... I wouldn't say herby. I would say more spice spice-like hmm. it tastes a little bit like um, do you ever have a clove cigarette <laughs> it tastes a little bit like that but it's not like a strong clove flavor it just has something similar to that going on some kind of a spice going on there definitely a little bit of uh, woodiness as well pretty good though I like it it's got a deep, dark flavor. So anyway, I'm going to let this rest for a second. Let's read some of this hype. 
All right, this is off of uh, Cigars International's website, but pretty sure it's the same most places. So, introducing the first Maduro within the highly regarded Macanudo Vintage Series. This limited production handmade employs the very best Connecticut broadleaf wrapper uh, leaves from a small crop cultivated in 1997. And selected at an extra fermented to perfection. This dark and oily leaf conceal, uh, conceals a carefully blended recipe of Nicaraguan, Brazilian, and Dominican long fillers. Okay, so there's Nicaraguan, Brazilian, and Dominican uh, for the filler. Um, lost my spot. The result is a deep, rich flavor that's truly Macanudo. Smooth and consistent, each Macanudo Vintage Maduro 1997 produces a dark Maduro flavor with ample flavor. Ample flavor and a soothingly sweet aftertaste. Yes, it's a metal band. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So there we go. I think there's two different uh, sizes for this cigar. This is the uh, Robusto. Uh, five and a half by 50, I believe. They also make one that's a little bit longer. I think it's a tapered torpedo or something like that. So yeah, it's off to a really good start. I like it. I tend to like nice dark cigars, and this one is certainly on the dark side. Not quite black, just a really deep, rich brown. It's good. It's got a lot of flavor, but I don't feel, I really don't feel a lot of strength at all. So, we'll see. But anyway, yeah, just gonna smoke on this for a little while, sit back, enjoy myself, relax, enjoy this beautiful weather. And I'll see you guys soon with an update. Alright, just a quick uh, tidbit. I have a cigar ring gauge app. And I was using this to see exactly, you know, what size this uh, ring gauge is for the, uh, the band. And it is exactly a size 56. Like on the nose, the inner diameter here. Now this is supposed to be a 50 ring gauge cigar. You can see that it does, you know, it's not, it's not really tight on here. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna damage the wrapper. You know, I can go through the whole cigar if I wanted to, but you know, it's not so loose it's falling off. So maybe, I mean, that's saying a 56, maybe a 54, 56. To give you a, a reference, my wedding band is a size 12. And it fits my finger pretty much the same as a uh, my wedding band. So I want to say a, a size 12 ring, like an actual ring gauge. <laughs> but uh, as far as the uh, cigar ring gauge, 54, 56, something like that. In case you're wondering, you know, some people wanna, might want to get the cigar literally to wear this as a ring. You know, on one of their fingers, who knows. Doesn't fit my fat thumb. But uh, yeah, interesting. I'm sure you can come up with a, a way to use that for something. But anyway. That's pretty much uh, all I wanted to say. Another quick update. Nothing changed with the uh, flavor or anything, but I was reading something interesting about Macanudo because I was pretty sure Macanudos were made in uh, Jamaica. And they used to be originally from uh, Jamaica. Um, but now it's owned by uh, what is it? General, General Cigar Company, which owns a bunch of different brands. And they're currently made in the Dominican Republic. I'm trying to figure out when uh, when that happened because these uh, these leaves were harvested in '97, right? So let's read a little history about Macanudo. I was just wondering if these were if it was an original Jamaican grown uh, leaf, and then has uh, you know current fillers. Macanudo was originally the name of a front mark produced in Guatemala by the makers of the Cuban brand of Punch. Interesting. In 1971, General Cigar, which had acquired rights to the name outside of Cuba, introduced a completely distinct Macanudo as a brand unto itself. Unto itself. Developed in Jamaica under the leadership of Ramon uh, Cifuentes, a veteran of Cuban cigar uh, maker Partigas. Production of the Macanudo line under General Cigar shifted from Jamaica to the Dominican Republic in October 2000. So interesting. So General Cigar what, owned them since 71, but they switched over in 2000 to um, Dominican Republic. So, I'm assuming maybe that, yeah, the, the wrapper on this one is from Jamaica. 
grown in Jamaica anyway, and then the, the, all the filler and stuff was done in the Dominican Republic. It's interesting, just like any other industry, like I relate it to knives, obviously, because I, I know a lot about the uh, knife industry. Um, but there's just so many ties between companies and stuff, people don't even know. There's this brand and this brand and this brand, but this person owns these three brands, and, well, this person's making these knives for this person. Same thing with cigars. There's a lot of, a lot of intermingling, you know what I mean? A lot of stuff cross, cross uh, I don't know, ownership and, and companies and... A lot of behind the scenes stuff, essentially, is what I'm trying to get at here. But it's all really interesting. If you like cigars, um, you know, the whole hobby of cigars and getting into different brands and stuff, it's good to educate yourself and, and be knowledgeable about what you're smoking, where it came from, you know, who owns it, what else they do. If you like a cigar, maybe you try another one from their sister company or another one from that company. I think that's generally what people do when you're especially when you're getting into cigars for the first time some people tried a bunch of cigars found one they like and that's all they smoke that's one type of cigar smoker and then there's me and some of you guys watching it, it is the um cigar smoker that loves just trying new stuff all the time i'm constantly trying new cigars there's a there's a bunch that i really really enjoy but i like the journey i like trying new things you know so that's why i try different ones almost every time i smoke um but yeah, if I like a certain cigar, then I'll be interested in that particular brand, or I'll look it up and say, okay, well, that company owns this brand, too. Maybe I'll like those cigars. Maybe it has some of the same tobacco in it, you know? It's just interesting to me. Maybe not to everyone, but hey, if you're watching Cigar Review, it's probably interesting to you, too. All right, guys, I'm back. Almost done with this. I'm going to put this out soon because it's starting to get really hot and the flavors are getting lost. You know, once you get towards the end of smoking a cigar and everything starts tasting like an ashtray, you're done with it. You don't have to smoke it to the, like, you know, if you're smoking a cigar with a roach clip, <laughs> you're, you're more about getting your best bang for the buck, and you're probably better off of buying a big old bundle of $1 cigars. But anyway, um, my idea is once you're not enjoying it anymore, get rid of it. I don't care if you smoked, you know, five minutes. If you're not enjoying that cigar, put it out. What's the point, right? I don't see it as a waste of money or a wasted cigar. The whole point is to actually enjoy it. And once that stops, you're done smoking. But anyway, um, for me, it's this point. It's starting to get too warm where the flavors, like I said, they're just totally lost and just kind of taste like ashiness. Um, so I'm going to take one more puff and actually let this rest and go out by itself. So, yeah. Um, flavors. Throughout the whole thing, it's been pretty much the same. There's that little bit of underlining spice, mostly a sweeter wood flavor. Not sweet like candy or anything, and not sweet like fake sugary sweet. Just like a natural sweet, you know, kind of thing going on with the wood flavor. So it's predominantly wood. There is something special in there, though, that I can't quite put my finger on it. The best way to describe it is somewhat floral. Um, if you ever drank rose water, you know, it, it tastes how flowers smell. You know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't it doesn't taste like I'm smoking flowers, but it's subtle. It's in there a little bit. So I think that's an underlining flavor here is kind of a floral thing going on. Um, but yeah, it was a really good stick. It did need a touch-up. I probably should have filmed it, but it started canoeing a little bit, so I did have to touch it up a little bit on the one side. Um, but then after that, it kind of self-corrected and it was fine. Um, but yeah, it was a really enjoyable cigar. I did learn a little bit more. I was tempted to turn the camera back on, but I promised I wouldn't until I was done. The band. Besides being cool and catching your eye at the smoke shop, uh, it does serve a purpose, and it's there to be a built-in uh, humidifying device. Not to humidify, but a humidifying checker, let's just say. Now, the idea behind this is that when you get these cigars, the ring should be able to just barely move back and forth, okay? Not super tight, not super loose. If the humidity in your humidor is too low and your cigars start drying out, you will find that your band gets a lot looser, okay? <laughs> you like that? Yeah, you do. Um, and, and vice versa, if your humidity is too high and the cigars actually swell up because they're too moist, it will be really, really tight. You won't be able to move it. So it's kind of cool to have one of these in your humidor and every now and again check, you know, and see. If you find it's getting loose, your cigars are probably drying out and, and shrinking a little bit. And like I said, vice versa, if, if you can't move this thing, it won't budge anywhere, you might be swelling up your cigars with too much humidity. Now, I wouldn't just rely on this solely. Obviously, you want a hygrometer, which checks the humidity in your humidor. Digital, definitely prefer. Those, uh, 
the ones that come with your humidors, they usually stink. They're not very accurate. So I would uh, highly recommend getting uh, investing in a digital one if you do have some decent cigars in there and you don't want them to go bad or anything. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting. I like that. Pretty cool. So uh, that is pretty much it. I am out of coffee. And uh, now I'm done with the cigar. I think I'm going to go back to uh, some night testing and some other stuff. Play with Gus for a little bit, though, because uh, he just woke up from his nap. But, yeah, just wanted to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you've had this cigar, let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Um, always up for cigar suggestions. However, I'm probably not going to buy any for a very long time. I have plenty. All right, so before I go, we're going to take a look at this band one more time. And I will say that this is definitely, without a doubt, a gimmick. However, it's a gimmick that worked. I went in this cigar shop when I bought this, and um, I had nothing specific in mind. I just wanted to browse, just wanted to see what he had, and this thing stood out, and I had to get it. So it worked. Uh, it caught my eye as it, it was supposed to, and uh, I'm glad I tried it. But honestly, without the metal band, I may not have even picked this cigar. I would have picked something else. So uh, it does work as a gimmick, but I'm glad I tried it because it is a, a pretty darn good cigar. So I would recommend it. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.